What's up everybody, it's your boy, Nadia and Sands, here for another very exciting episode of Learn How to Edit Stuff. Now, as an editor, I know that syncing audio to multiple cameras can be a huge pain in the ass. But not to worry, my friends, there is a very fast, very easy, and very effective way to do this in Premiere without too much trouble. Literally like three clicks. If you're ever doing a shoot with multiple cameras and you forget to slate or you forget to do a clap or anything like that, it usually happens on set. This way is gonna save you so much time. For me, I happen to be using a Zoom audio recorder right here. Hello, check one, two. Uh, and this is another source of media that will have to sync with everything else, but I promise you, it's the easiest thing you'll ever do. At this point, I'm just wasting time in this video. It's gonna be so short that I don't, I don't know what to do. So uh, I guess open up Adobe Premiere because we're getting started. Sure, jump on him, okay. All right, kids, I got Premiere open and over here on my left-hand side, under my footage folder, I have footage from my Sony a6300, the audio from the Zoom, my webcam, and from the RX100. Now, I just put them all in separate folders. Organization is key to winning as an editor, but check out how easy this is. I'm gonna sync all of this in literally 10 seconds. This is gonna be the shortest video of all time. I'm gonna drop my audio onto audio track one onto my timeline, and then I'm gonna take my 6300 video, put it right above it, Webcam video right above that, and then my RX100 video right above that. Now I'm gonna highlight everything, right click, and this is what you're gonna to wanna to use right here. Synchronize, my friends, synchronize. That's how you do it. Make sure that you have audio selected and it's pulling from audio track one. The one thing you're gonna to wanna to make sure is that the most clean audio of yours or whatever audio you wanna eventually go with is on track one that has the cleanest signal because that's where it's gonna pull from to match everything else. And once you do that, click okay. And it literally takes two seconds. I did not speed that up. And now everything is synced perfectly. Now what we'll do, is, uh, you know, cut it, bring all this back. By the way, uh, I know this isn't part of the tutorial, but this is one of my favorite keyboard shortcuts, which is ripple delete. So it brings everything back to the beginning. Uh, you can set the keyboard shortcuts yourself, but on my keyboard, I have like the little delete next to the slash key, but then I have like the regular delete. If I hit regular delete, it just deletes in place. But if I hit the ripple delete key, it'll shuffle everything backwards to the start of the cut. And that is a huge thing. It's not part of this video, little bonus tip. I just opened my eyes because I realized I was shutting them and everyone's always like, okay, let's move on. So check it out. And this is how you sync audio. There you go. And well, we'll cut this, mute that. And video. And we'll cut to the next one and video super fast in Adobe. And cut back to cam one in Adobe Premiere. Boom, there you go. Now, I don't know how some of you have done it in the past, but that to me was like the easiest thing. This video is like, I don't, I, I, what else do I do for this video? It was so easy. Some of you may go in, you may try to manually sync the audio and do all these things. Or if you have a slate, you'll like set your ins and then you'll try to get it to shuffle. But don't do that. Just synchronize it. Use the built-in power of your computer in Adobe Premiere to do all the audio syncing for you. But I'll give you another bonus tip. Let's check it out. If you happen to zoom in down here, and you can kind of see your waveforms. Uh, one cool thing is that if I zoom in, it only lets you zoom in so far, but if you want to adjust uh, audio timings by like microseconds, like tiny little slivers, like you shouldn't be able to, all you gotta do is right click up here in your timeline, go to show audio time units, and it will actually allow you to zoom in like to you, like if I open this waveform, it's like you're seeing like, insane amounts of detail in here in this waveform. So if you did hypothetically want to shuffle this back a little bit, um, it's very easy for you to now pull this audio track and get like segments of frames and not even full frames. So you can just like micro adjust this audio if you do want to make adjustments. But more often than not, you will actually just have one clean audio track and you'll just delete these other tracks so that you don't even hear them at all. And then you're just using your source audio. And this is how you sync audio and video super fast in Adobe Premiere. Um, short video today? I don't know what to tell you. I had to do this exact same thing. I'm working on a wedding and I had to sync a wide cam, uh, a close-up cam on like some best man speeches and then like a shot of the bride and groom and then there's like a row. So this was useful to things that I'm working on in my life. And if you didn't know about the synchronized audio feature in Adobe Premiere, Your mind is blown. I also gave you bonus tips, show audio time units, and ripple delete. What, what else do you want from me? If you haven't already, head on over to Twitter and Instagram, at Naughty and Sans. You know, 
follow me, check me out, see what I'm up to. And also, if you haven't already, check out the last video that you missed and subscribe to the channel, why don't you, huh? You know, and it's not the longest video, it's not like the most in-depth video, but if you didn't know about the synchronized feature, your mind's kind of blown, I think. So uh, check that video out, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.